mini capital plan that's being discussed this week doesn't meet our needs and could end up undermining the momentum that we need for a real capital plan to meet uh, the, the transportation needs that we've got in Illinois. There's some good reasons why we should be prioritizing transit infrastructure investment and see a one-to-one -one, uh, investment between roads and transit. First, in 2006, public transit in Illinois saved approximately 276 million gallons of oil. That meant that consumers saved $400 million that they would have otherwise spent at the gas pump. Public transit prevented more than 40 million hours of traffic delay in the Chicago metropolitan region, saving the economy more than $800 million across the state of Illinois that would have otherwise been uh, spent uh, on wasted time and lost productivity. Travel via public transportation in Illinois has increased at a faster rate than auto travel since the early 1990s. The, the number of passenger miles traveled uh, jumped 20 percent in the last 15 years. A recent economic study, and this, this, this goes to, to uh, creating jobs and a goal of a capital plan should be to create jobs. A recent economic study found that transit projects create 31 percent more jobs for every dollar spent uh, than money spent in building new roads. So we need a capital plan that is looking to build Illinois transportation infrastructure for the 21st century. Illinois legislative leaders, by considering a mini capital plan, are actually shortchanging that future.